and welcome to another gauge demo from FIPGages.com. In this video I'll be running through my Boeing 737 checklist gauge. Okay, so the uh, buttons and dials. So the S1 button will open the settings page and S6 will tick the checklist items off one at a time. Now S3, S4 and S5 they are within the settings menu, they have extra functions. So let's start by activating the settings menu. We click S1. So now we have some sound settings. So we have S3, which will test the sounds. S4 will toggle the tick sound on and off. S5 will toggle the page turning sound on and off. And the left dial will adjust the volume control. So you can take the volume up and you can bring it back down again. So let's turn it up quite high for now. And if you hit the S3 test button, you can hear both the tick and the page turn sounds as a way of a test of the volume as well. Um, and so you can turn those both off if you want to, or you can just uh, adjust the volume. Um, we'll leave them both on for now. And we press S1 again to leave the menu. Okay, so on the main screen it shows you here that the left dial will move your ticks forward and backwards and the right dial will change your page forwards and backwards. So as we turn the right dial we can basically go through all the pages that are in the gauge. And I believe there are 13 pages and then we have the checklist complete page at the end. So there are said there's 13 pages and the right dial will quickly spin between all of those pages. The left dial will basically tick you through the checklist. So if you want to go to page five um, and you want to nip down to the middle somewhere, you can use the dials to quickly get into position of your checklist. Now S6 is used to tick off each item. So as you check off your items, you just click S6 and that will tick off each item in the list one at a time. Now, if there are gaps, i.e. where the headings appear on a checklist, like here, uh, when you S6, it will skip the gap and then carry on. Okay, so if you want to go back to the beginning, you just simply page all the way back to the start. And Basically, if you start ticking, it will tick from the start of the page you're currently on. So if you're um, even part way down through page two and you change to page three, the next time you tick, it will start ticking from that page. And as you scroll back, it'll start ticking from the top of that page. If you scroll back a page, it's the same. It'll always start at the top of each page if you are fast forwarding the page backwards and forwards. Okay, so while you're ticking through your checklist, as you get to the bottom of your page, the next tick will take you to the next page. Okay, so that pretty much covers the checklist gauge. It's very similar to the Cessna one. The Cessna one doesn't have any sound effects in it, but in essence, it functions pretty much the same way. So I hope you like this uh, demo. Um, please subscribe if you haven't already and come back and check out some of our other videos soon. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.